Are you interested in getting a trike but you don't know how to ride one? In this video, I will show you how to ride a trike. Stay tuned until the end and I will share a tip you don't want to miss. Let's ride. Hello, my name is Miguel. Welcome to my channel, Sandman Rides the Afterlife, where we talk about motorcycling, travel, and enjoying retirement. Looking at this right here, you won't notice anything different from a standard motorcycle. However, you get back here, and this one's got a big ass. Trikes are a different breed of motorcycle. They look different than the traditional motorcycles, of course, and they have an extra wheel. They take up more space on the road, and they have a different riding position. Some of the unique features of a trike are that they offer stability, comfort, and ease of handling. That's why many people own one. But trikes handle a lot differently than two-wheel motorcycles. Motorcycles use two types of steering. Two-wheel bikes use counter steering. That's where the rider leans to the left or to the right, depending on the turn that he's taking. This leaning counters the centrifugal forces and avoids tipping over. Trikes, on the other hand, use a direct steering method. You turn the handle in the direction you wish to go. If you want to go to the right, you turn the handle to the right. If you want to go left, you turn the handle to the left. This makes for easier steering. The most important thing to remember when getting into a turn, decrease your speed as you're approaching the turn, make your turn, and then increase. Slowing down before the turn is accomplished by rolling off the throttle and using the brakes. Always set a good entry speed that's within your capabilities. Look through the entire turn and keep your eyes moving. Evaluate the turn for its characteristics, road conditions, and traffic. It helps you turn your head and look through the turn as you're going. To initiate the turn on the trike, use the push-pull method. If you want to go to the left, you want to push with your right hand and you want to pull with your left hand. This will turn the wheel in the direction that you want to go. If you want to turn right, you pull with your right hand and you push with your left hand and this turns the wheel in the direction that you want to go. Try to slightly twist your body in the direction of the turn. So if you're turning left, twist your body slightly. This will make it easier on your arms. And you may find them more comfortable leaning slightly forward and twisting your body in the direction of the turn at higher speeds. Trikes are massive pieces of machinery. When they get going, they pick up speed pretty quickly. You will need to take care when stopping your trike. Leave a large amount of distance and time to come to a complete stop. Begin braking far in advance. If you brake too hard, it could lock up the wheels and make you lose control. Parking. The rear of the trike is wider than a typical motorcycle. Check for proper clearance when maneuvering, cornering, parking, and operating the trike. Make every effort to park facing out so it's easier to ride out of the parking space. Your trike's width will determine which parking spaces will be easy to get in and out of. When pulling up to the gas pump, ensure you leave enough room for the rear of the trike. If you're not careful, you can cause damage to the rear by riding too close to the pump or guard poles. The reverse motor is to assist in backing up, not driving in reverse. First, come to a complete stop and make sure the parking brake is disengaged. The parking brake is located right there. To engage it, you press all the way down and it stays down. Disengage, press, and let go. Come to a complete stop and make sure the parking brake is disengaged. With the trike started and in neutral, press and hold the reverse switch until the R illuminates. Release the reverse switch. Press and hold the reverse switch a second time to operate the electric reverse motor. The trike continues moving in reverse until the reverse switch is released. And to disengage the reverse, you can either press the parking brake or put it in gear or turn off the motorcycle. Emergency braking. Sometimes you have to stop as quickly as possible. Here are some tips on how to get you and your trike stopped quickly. Apply both brakes to their maximum, but evenly squeeze the brakes. Don't jerk the brakes or your wheels will lock up. Practice in an open, good surface place, such as a clean parking lot. Keep the trike traveling in a straight line and look ahead, not down. You don't want to lock the front brake because you're scared and steering will be lost. If the wheel or wheels chirp, release the brake for a split second, then immediately reapply without locking it up. If your rear wheel or wheels lock up, do not release the brake. If your handlebars are straight, you will skid in a straight line. You have a more important priority, and that is to get stopped. Keep watching, and we'll talk about coping with the skid. Question of the day, 
if you switch to a trike from a two-wheel motorcycle, what was most challenging for you in the learning process? Comment down below and let us know. You should try to avoid this, but sometimes it is necessary. You can use both brakes during a turn on a trike, but you must do it gradually. Don't jerk and come to an abrupt stop on the turn because then you, know, you may have some issues. For maximum braking efficiency, road conditions permitting, it's always best to straighten out the bike and then brake. Coping with the skid. <laughs> a skid, that's when you pucker up or your uh, heart goes to your throat. You might hit a patch of sand, some loose gravel or grass or oils on the roadway as you're slowing for a stop. In a high speed, sand in the corner type of skid, steer slightly in the direction of the skid. Chances are you will clear the uh, slippery patch and you'll get traction and you'll keep moving straight. If you hit a slippery area while stopping and your wheels lock up, immediately let go of the brake and go ahead and reapply. You want them to gain traction again. In high speed, when traction is good and the rear wheel starts to skid while braking hard, do not let go of the brakes. Riding across poor surfaces. Here are a few simple rules you should follow when you anticipate coping with sand, mud, water, or loose surface or obstruction in the road. Downshift and slow before you reach your problem area. If there is traffic in the area, ensure that drivers know you are slowing. Tap your brakes so the brake light flashes. Try to cross the bad surface in a straight line, or at least do not change direction or speed abruptly. If you have to cross over an obstacle in the road, like a two by four piece of wood, rise off the seat a little if all the tires will impact the obstacle. Remain seated if only one tire will hit the obstacle. In either case, hold the hand grips firmly without locking your arms. Just before the front tire or tires will cross the obstacle, slightly roll on the throttle before making contact. This will lie in the front end of the trike. Remember to roll off the throttle before the back tires cross. If only one tire crosses the obstacle, you may feel lots of side-by-side -side movement, especially on a dual rear wheel trike. This is normal and it should quickly stop after crossing an obstacle. Rain. Hold out the rain gear you stored in a handy spot. Make sure your rain gloves and rain boots fit correctly. Poorly fitted ones can lessen your ability to brake and shift. Be most cautious when it first starts to rain. That is when the water goes into the dimples in the road and the oil residue from passing vehicles flows to the top. That gets slippery. You can stop for a cup of coffee when it starts to rain. Who knows, it could all be over in 15 minutes and you won't even have to pull out your rain gear. After a while, the oil will be washed off to the side of the road. However, traction on a wet surface may not be as good as on a dry road. If you ride in the rain, Ride in a lane that allows for quick evasive maneuvers in an emergency. Increase your distance and reduce your speed. Wear bright reflective gear so other knuckleheads on the road can see you. Be careful. Wind. Strong winds can create problems for a rider. A constant 25 mile per hour wind from the side can make for less than happy riding. Gusty wind is the worst. Keep the motorcycle on the side of the lane where the wind is coming. This is in case a big blast moves you over a bit. Expect it and be ready to react. Bonus tip, practice. I have a link down below for you to check out, but first, anyone with a trike should spend some time practicing before they head out to the open road. You want to turn the complicated steps of riding a trike into muscle memory. The more you practice, the better you'll get at responding to real life situations on the road. Take time to practice turning corners, shifting lanes, stopping, and gear shifting. Low traffic areas such as residential streets or empty parking lots are a great place to practice. Click on the link below for a complete practice guide. If you like this video or videos like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified of our upcoming videos.